I'm very happy and excited for having this opportunity of sharing my learning and experience with you all. We are about to start the P6 training. I would request to you all to listen attentively and take notes where needed. So I'm going to share my screen and then we can see properly. So, okay. Uh, yes, please confirm. Can you see? Okay. We can see. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for confirming. Okay. First, I would I would like to uh, tell you what is Primavera. First, we need to know what is Primavera. So, Primavera is an enterprise portfolio project uh, management software. It includes project management, resource management, collaboration and control capabilities and integrates with other enterprise software such as Oracle and SAP's ERP systems. And why, why we are using Primavera? Primavera P6 is used for project scheduling, planning, tracking and reporting it is a very powerful tool. And we are not using P6 only for construction field, but it is also being used in oil and gas and manufacturing field and production. And what are the benefits of Primavera P6? The most significant benefits of the P6 Primavera its planning system is its ability to improve collaboration and communication between project and stakeholder. So today, here's my outline. Someone asked me, so I already shared with you before. So this is my outline. Today, I will explain how to create a project, define project calendars, EPS, enterprise project structure, define activity course, define work breakdown structure. So first, I would like to share with you some backgrounds of planning phase. We are going to start from planning phase. So first we need to do, we require a tender document, BOQ, scope document, shop drawings to create the schedule and to collect requirements, define a scope, create WBS. So first, what creating a project? So how we create a project? First, we need to know what is project. A project is a group of tasks which must be completed to achieve a goal. So we can see that here, the steps are I captured from P6. So the step number one, open P6, software, click on file, click on new, this window will appear. Then we can create a project. Select, we need to go select EPS, select on these three dots here. And then next step, how to create a project. Another window will be open. Click on the icon with plus sign. Another window will be open where you can add a project. And then next, how to create a project. So in this window, you can enter detail of project name and project ID. For example, project ID, what's the ID and project name, then click on next. Okay, uh, yes, so, okay. I'm sorry, I just was here. So here, then creating a project and yes, we are right here. So after clicking on next, this window will appear where you can enter your plan start date and also your finish date if you know it. So, but it is recommended to enter only plan start date, not the finish date. 
and then just click on here is the bar is next. And then after that, it will appear assignment rate type. So after clicking, here is rate type, right? So after clicking on next, this window will appear where you can assign rate type price per unit and then click on next. You can see drop down, then you can see the different options. And then project architect window will appear. In this window, you can see that two options. Yes, run the project architect, architect, architect or no, do not run this project architect. So after clicking on next, this window will appear where you have to mark on no, do not run the project architect and then click on next. Here's the next option. If you miss anything, you can go previous. If you done, then you need to go next. Don't click on the finish, okay? And then go is congratulations. Now, after clicking on next, this window, all this process will saying that congratulations and then click on finish button. Here you need to do, just click on finish. So now I'm going to share my P6 window. Here's my P6 Primavera. Before uh, I have tried my level best, I create the, I made the PowerPoint slide and define each by each steps. And then I'm come, going to share P6 dashboard window. So here you can see that these are the icons. First, we need to learn what is these are. You can see that this is file. Here, different options. So now new, open. So what, because I'm going to create a new project from the zero, right? From the uh, initiation phase, right? So I just click here, new. So I need to select EPS. Then select EPS. Before we saw that the uh, three dot here, you can see that the three, just click here and where this is a diamond bar is showing is a node, like it's a location. So here, where you want to select. So what I want to see, I just select this one, that my project will appear in this node, in this area. So I just click here, plus, plus sign, click. And then I just select EPS, then project ID. So what's the project ID? For example, I'm putting here NIDAC. Like what any, what's your like project requirement? You can put any of things, project ID, like you can put PE, A, or A, whatever you want to start. But here I'm using NIDAC project ID and project name is, is construction. Okay, so I just put then, I put because I uh, this project will go to uh, EPS window node. So like a folder. So here's a project name, project ID, project name. Now I'm putting, selecting next. If I miss something, then just go to uh, previous and here's next, right? So project name and then next. Today's um, project plan is started. So today's Feb. 17 February, we can select here when is your here when if you click here, you can see that three dots, right? So you can just click here and you can choose the uh, dates where when we want to uh, see the these things, right? With dates. So just today is 17 Feb. So for example, today I'm going to start 17 Feb and don't put the must finish by. So just use uh, next. Responsible managers enterprise, then next assignment rate. We can select here different price per unit, price standard units. I just put a standard rate, whatever my company has the requirement. I need to um, select those ones, right? So, but here the standard for industries we are using standard rate. So, here is standard rate and then finish and congratulations. So we, your new project has been created 
to modify your project properties and define properties not covered by this wizard click on the enterprise so i just i'm going to click finish button uh, yes finish so now here you can see that my here uh, i put the this one nedac right so see construction and management this is the node the main uh, top is construction and management so my project is in this node in this uh, folder like we can see that this is in the folder and i if i don't need the, you can see that the, this is a diamond bar means node and the envelope bar means uh, the project what you have created it will appear in this it will uh, it will appear in this uh, in this um, eps right in this folder so if you don't need this one, you can delete at the right top. This is a cross means you can delete this one. So yes, you are about to delete. Yes, I want to delete the bag. You said yes. So it's deleting. Okay, so now I'm going to back to my slides. So here is uh, EPS. Uh, what is EPS? Sajid Saiba, Assalamu Alaikum. I think that the slides are not shared with the primary way. So, it's a disconnect when you share it. So, the slides are not selected. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, the slides are not selected. Okay, so I'll just share it. Okay, so I'll share it in the chat box. I'll share it in the comments. Okay, I'll share it in the chat box. इसको मेरे ख्याल कुछ शेयरिंग में कुछ थोड़ा सा प्रॉब्लम आ रहा है वो जब आप शिफ्ट करती है ना तो उधर शिफ्ट नहीं हो रहा वो अभी आपका सिर्फ हमें वो दिख रहा है ये जो है ना जो आपकी प्रेजेंटेशन है P6 का वो जो पार्ट है वो नहीं नहीं आ पा रहा ओके 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 सॉरी अब नाउ आ आ रहा है आ आ रहा है � Sorry about that. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm just now because, uh, okay. So we need to go here. Uh, now I'm here, I'm sharing my P6 dashboard window. Here is different icons, file, edit, view, project, enterprise, tools, admin and help, right? So first I need to go file and then I need to create new project, so I just click in new. So I need to select first EPS, right? So I just select here. So where is the location where I want to see, like if I want to uh, put my new project energy department, these are different departments. So I'm just putting the CNM construction and management. So I just select here and then I just click. You can see that the plus sign, the green one, just select here and then just go to next. What is the project name? So this is, again, I'm repeating project ID is your dad and project name is construction building. Okay, and then go to next. Project start date, we can select the three dot uh, dotted here. You can select which date you want to start your project. So I just selected today's date, 17 Feb. So here I just select here. And don't select must finish by because we need to avoid the constraint. Okay, so uh, just select the project plan start date, then finish. And here's the responsible manager enterprise. And you can select what you want. So I just select my enterprise here and then finish. A standard rate, we can, this is a salmon rate, so we can select different rates. We just drop down the window and then external rate, internal rate, but the in a uh, normally in industries, we use to standard rate. So that's why I have selected a standard rate and then go to next and congratulations, your new project has been created, right? So just click finish. And then you can see that the here is NIDAC. So here we can, if you want to delete, then you can just cross this one, right? 
Okay. And now I'm going to my slides. Uh, you can see that, Javed Bhai. Uh, can you see that my this window again? Uh, slide not yet come. This is still on Primavera P6. Okay. 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 Got it. Thanks. Okay. So now you can see that, right? Yes. Now we can see. Okay. Thank. Thanks for coming. Okay. So now I'm moving to EPS Enterprise Project Structure. What is EPS? So EPS is a logical, meaningful, hierarchical uh, arrangement of all the projects in your organization. So we can see that multiple levels and summarize data to higher, we can summarize for each node in the EPS. And same process, we need to go enterprise and click on enterprise, then click on enterprise project structure. And then this window will appear. You can click on add a negative EPS name using arrows. So here you can see that add buttons at the right side or drop down, up and down, left and right. You can fix your uh, locations. These are the locations, okay? And then this is a chart view. So click on display EPC engineering procurement construction and you can click on chart view to see it a chart form. You can see that here. And here, uh, you can just right click here, here on the screen, select column, select responsive. If whatever you need to do add in this column, for example, you can see that EPS ID and name, and you can add right click and select responsible manager. You can add to the right side on responsible manager will appear. Then here EPS ID, name and responsible manager. So column is appeared. You can add here at the right responsible manager by click on the box at the right bottom highlighted by yellow arrow. So here you can add these things. When you click on it, a list will appear, which was up prepared in my lecture number two, organization breakdown structure. So you can assign the managers by clicking on the sign. Okay, now new share, now, okay. Uh, okay, again, I'm here in P6, so we can go to EPS now here. First, I already uh, explained you how to create the project. So you need to go new. And then for EPS, this is one, two, three, four, five, and enterprise. So I need to click here first enterprise. Then need to go enterprise structure. Everybody can see that, okay? So, uh, okay, here's a display window. So we can see that uh, uh, EPS ID, enterprise project structure right so this is exactly uh, this is a diamond bar you can see that the yellow one yellow one this is a diamond bar and it is also called a node or in basic language you can say that this is database it contains the project this is exactly the same as creating a folder on window so therefore we can say that here um, uh, exactly the same as creating a folder on window, we can say that this is a location in which area, in which uh, folder we need to go. This is a location you will find all the project. Like for example, here's uh, product development. So will be found in the proper database that everyone can view the scene. So. Here you, you just need to learn for this window, ID, name, and you can see that you can add anything like if here, I'm here, I'm adding anything else like here, you can see that, okay, this drop down window, right? So this is the four bars. You can see that the left, you can go there, right? You can just play around, just play it, right? And up, upward and downward, like you need to know where is my correct location? You can just up, go up right here. And then 
new APS, right? So you can see that this is the at the left, very left corner, you need to go just click lab. When you see this one, this is disabled means you cannot move more backward direction. You just need to, oh, you, you just put the wrong one. So you need to just go the forward like here, here, but not more than, right? When you it appears disabled, so it means you cannot go more forward. So this is this is a the bar uh, properties and this is the add you can add and if you want oh I did by mistake so you can just delete this one so yes I want to delete this one okay so yeah so now I'm moving back to my slide. Okay, so here first to start the project before you need to set our basic setting, right? How to set, date, time, format. So these are here, we have three steps must do before starting a project. Go to edit and select user interface. Number one, set most important things, set date format, what you want to see, set time format, untick wizards from assistance, for instructions. So here we can see that the user preference, different types, units, format. So we need to just select the dates, currency, assistance. So we need to uh, to start before to start the project. First step, we need to set all settings. Here is user preference, time units, how your resources are measured man days on man hour let's assume your company work eight hours per day for example they work eight hours so could send maximum two labor per day so two labor per day in one day like we in we can calculate the eight hours per day so two is multiplied by two eight into two to is 16 hours per day so how project activity duration are measured activity break work need to do to complete. So here we can see that the units, user preference, we need to go there. Okay, so unit format, What which format you want to see in days because we are working in days, Monday to Friday. So that's why we have selected day and duration format, we selected days here and decimal, what decimal you want, like uh, you can see that 0 0.06. If you want to see more, then you can drop down and up down thus you can select these the uh, decimals and here also dates user free when we uh, we are in the user preference dates again date format we need to select uh, this is a standard day month year and time how many hours like 12 hours 24 or you don't want to see anything like this window and if you need any assistance so just don't please don't check mark anything and take visits from assistance. So important things we need to check before creating a project, check date, plan start date and data date. So these are like the calendars, check calendars from default setting. So after creating project, uh, select project and check. These are after my presentation, when you uh, do practice, then it will help you. I know this is new for you. Some of one they know very well, but some of them they don't know. So for the beginner, this uh, slides will help to create the projects. So again, uh, sh sharing my P6. Okay, so here I'm going to uh, select the calendar because calendar is the most important factor in our P6. So first I need to explain user uh, edit, user preference. We need to go edit second option in drop down window, then just select here, select here user preference. And you can see that the user preference windows, if you see, just click here time units. So if you want to see hour or day, but usually we use day, I just select day. It depends upon the company requirement. 
your what's your organi organization standard we have to follow the organization standard template everything we cannot do that by our own choice and then you need to select duration format unit of time day submit and this is an units per time you just need to show as units per duration and then select days days format was the day month year and then do not show me or if you want to work your company 12 hours so then you can select the 12 hour but i'm selecting do not show me and then currencies you need to hear yeah, because i'm going to share with you first level Pakistani projects where I did, I have done my work. So, but in, according to Canadian, like uh, currency options, we need to change the Canadian dollar. So here's a Canadian dollar, which uh, because which uh, currency we are used to do that. So we just select the Canadian dollars because in, in the control account, they will calculate automatically P6 and then currency and assistance. We don't need any assistance. Password and application. These are what you want, like show name, description. When I I am creating the new project, adding the activities. So I need name, project name, activity name, and description. That's why I just put the check mark here. And then resource analysis. I just uh, check mark open objective. I know you don't remember this time. Don't need to remember memorize anything. Just follow my instructions what i i created in the powerpoint slides and then calculations resource assignments and we can see that assignment staffing so just ask me so to select each me i assign every time i need to when we i assign the activity i need to do every time to assign the resource and then yeah we are good here user preference is a first step okay so now here I'm going to calendar. Okay, so just click here one, two, three, four, five. Just go to at the top because at the top parts, they are very important. Everything we need to learn here. So what inside there, right? So this is enterprise, click here enterprise and then just select the, where's the calendar? Uh, yes, here's the calendar, okay. First, uh, I want to know what is calendar, right? So calendar is a chart that organized that year into days, weeks, or month. So I like, I have different calendars, global resource and projects. So we used to a uh, uh, global calendar and uh, project wise. So I selected Faisalabad projects. So this one, and then I just need to modify. Okay. Or, uh, if I go back, so if I want to add, you can add any calendars, right? Like for example, okay, I knew new calendar, like eight hours per day or whatever. So you just click here add, and then you have the, this window will appear. You can see that which calendar, you can create the new calendar by yourself. This is at the right, the plus bar, you can click here. But uh, usually we work uh, five days, Monday to Friday, and nine to five, eight hours. Uh, and so I just select five into eight, this calendar for my project, five to eight. So I can put my name, uh, Nadak, uh, what I, my project name is construction, construction building. Okay, I'm writing. So this is my construction building. So I can use my this calendar and then just check mark this one, right? So I can this one or yeah, only one check mark will work at a time. You cannot work all together. So just this is my construction building. So it's five to eight uh, hours and five days, Monday to Friday. And then just modify. Okay, go to modify just click here total hours per day right so not detail hours we don't need to do detail hours we just click on total hour works per day here i can see that like here okay so i know uh because usually uh it's my job i just do a regular basis like if i i know okay this family day is coming on monday so just this is just click so just click in non-work like this is a holiday 
you can see that this means like the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. These are my work uh, days, weekdays, right? And this is my non-work days, this holidays, Saturday and Sunday, like the light blue color, it means non-work. So you just, we have two options. You can double click here, double click here, or you can just select non-work. Like if you select non-work, uh, so non-work. So I just select this one, right? And here you can see the OK, cancel, and work week. We can select the work weeks and standard. Now I'm going to work week. OK, so Monday to Friday, I need to set the hours. So you can see that at a time, a lot of windows will appear, like one, this project window, the total work. So you need to select calendar weekly hours so monday i just select eight hours eight or you can select any of them right 10 10 or whatever you can select like i'm just moving this one it depends upon the company organization requirement if your organization works per day 10 hours 12 hours you can put 10 hours 12 hours but i usually work eight hours so I just put Monday eight hours, extra 30 minutes for my lunch, so 8.5. So I just put in, but uh, eight hours, don't count lunch time. So just I'm putting the eight hours and Saturday, Sunday, I don't work. So it's my calendar perfectly set, okay? And if you want to see time periods, like, okay, per week, this is work week, and then, okay, and then you need to see time periods, like, hours per day, eight hours per day, hours per week, multiply by eight into per week, one, one, six, hours per month, six is prima vera, P6 automatic cal calculated. You don't need to calculate anything. And hours per year, 8030. So everything, just you need to feed the uh, data correctly, right? So just okay. And now my calendar is ready. So I am in good shape. So, okay, so you can see that here is the calendar is ready and I'm going to close this option. Back to my slides. Um, I'm sharing my slides, not share. Okay, so calendar I did is very important because scheduling is done. Based on it, in Primavera, you can create and assign calendars to each resource, each project, and each activity, right? So we did uh, these things. And Primavera, the three of calendar pools are available on Primavera Core, uh, Global Pool, Project Pool, and Resource Pool, right? So we did calendar. And I can see that this is my slides I just created for you guys, like civil, TVTC, alpha complex. This is my calendar. I usually put calendar on my table and my schedule. So you can mark and then you can accordingly uh, fill up these data in your P6, Primavera P6 data uh, dashboard window. So here you can see that and uh, yeah. So or I already explained my calendars here. You can see that go to enterprise, select, and I show this one. I showed already to you guys this one. And yeah, so this is a, a WBS level. Now I'm going to explain you WBS. Uh, first, I need to say what is WBS. So WBS is a breakdown work, breakdown structure. The process of subdividing project deliverables and project work into smaller, more manage manageable components. So you can see that I have divided different parts, level one, external finishing, internal finishing, and level two, I have divided plaster, painting, and internal finishing, plaster, tiling, and, the, and then here is activities. I have added ground floor, ground floor paint, first floor plaster, first floor paint, and ground floor, ground floor, and first floor. So just break down the 
activities so you can see that right so okay and then how to give how to give duration to to activities to method to give duration to activities right uh, client requirement and productivity so client requirement is if your client want to finish project on a specific date then you have to give duration randomly based on your experience for example we can calculate the duration because we don't know how uh, for days like which duration we need to divide so this is the basic formula to generate the duration is productivity activity of 40 square meter plaster and productivity of company one mason plus one helper so is equal to 10 square meter and add your company can maximum supply two mason plus two helper for the activity so duration is the formula is duration i made this formula uh, is easy to create the duration is total work divided by productivity because duration we know that the total work is 40 and the productivity one mason one helper is 10 10 20 so i divide 40 by 20 so two days we need two days to finish this activity now we can as a planning engineer we can do that we can uh, generate and we can create the duration like this formula um, okay and then Okay, I already explained you guys what is project, WBS and activities. Project is a temporary endeavor undertaken to create unique product and work breakdown structure, subdividing project. Activities in P6 are the individual tasks. So I already defined you before. And now here, uh, go to file. I'm explaining you WBS like go to file, then new create project, select EPS, plan is start date, at bottom set your date and calendar. And here, when I have created the project, NEDA construction comp project or the Faisalabad project, so then after that you need to add the activities. At the right side, you can see that the green uh, rect rectangular box so it means it shows a symbol of activities. So here's, this is the activities and the, at the right side, how to add activities, you just need to add plus button, then activity, you can add whatever you want in your project. So select WBS and on top, right plus sign, you can add WBS. Here's a WBS name, WBS ID, like complete layout, this is a, how to add WBS setting of WBS. This is a arrow bars, upward, downward direction. Okay. And okay. So I'm going to share my P6 dashboard window. Okay. And, and first thing I just forgot. So this is the layout and you can see that you can extend. And this is, my EPS and I'm going to this best lab project. Okay, I'm just right click here, like, and then open project. So I'm going to open this project, which I have created. Okay, so I already explained you at the top side, file, edit, view project. And then, or we can go to the WBS like this. We have two options, right? So first I need to tell you the, what is WBS? icon and what is the difference between activities you can go by this enterprise and this is like in project view you go to project and here's a wbs work breakdown structure or here is the activities at the top you can go this window or at the left side you can see that the this one is project new project we can add and this is resource this is the icon activities. Just keep in your mind the green color rectangular shape. It shows the, this is the activity and it will appear the activity windows. This is called the activity windows. Right now, 
we are in the activities windows not the wbs but now i am explaining to you guys uh, uh, my friends wbs work breakdown structure so at the bottom you can see that the double uh, square shape the rectangular shape is shows uh, activities and the rectangular uh, square shape shows is a wbs you can go both either in the project view window or the WBS. I'm usually, this is a shortcut, so I don't have time every day. So I just used to like this way. Just click here, WBS. Okay, this is the most uh, important task uh, in our project, uh, WBS. Work breakdown structure, right? So I have created very small project for you guys. This is the, um, WBS code and WBS name, Faisalabad construction project, right? So you can see that I'm going to collapse all. So just, just click here view. Okay, okay, I'm going. In the third one, just click here view and then collapse all. So everything is disappear. What you want to see, just plus click here. And then you can see that you have created like first step is project milestone. If these are the levels, right? These are the levels. So this is engineering and design, and this is road works, procurement, construction. So this is the construction project. We can break down into three parts, engineering, engineering, procurement, and construction. We would try to break this down into smaller units. What kind of thing you want to uh disappear right so here's the uh, these things so okay i'm going to expand all of them because i want to see collapse all and expand all collapse all means you don't want to see all of them just a few activities and uh, a few codes and expand all i want to see the whole bunch okay so this is the uh, game this is a like hit and trial game so you can see that these are uh you can see that this like in general, right? For example, I say, oh, okay, you can, the first level, these are the levels. Okay, these are the levels. Uh, first level, you can see that the, at the top, uh, we need to learn uh, WBS very uh, carefully because it depends upon the whole project nature, like where you can enter the your activities. So this is a first step. The first uh, level is, uh, level one is name. And then level two, we have divided six, seven levels. So we can add our activities level three and four. So these are project milestone and engineering design, right? Okay, I said, uh, oh, I don't want to see engineering here. I want to see uh, procurement at the first, okay? These are the engineering design. So just go to right side and you can see the drop down because you cannot, if you want to basic design upward, but you cannot do that, right? But in P6, you can easily use this tab, like arrow bottom, move down, so it will down. Move up, it will up, right? And move right, like you can go, and back, like this one, right? And these are the right side, you can see that, you can notice, you need to notice, like at the right side, left side the icons uh, the activities these are the left side the windows what you want to go there and the right side the difference between what you want to do what's your action for these right side arrows and keys right so you just click anywhere like i'm just clicking like here just double click um, yeah okay Please note, just click right anywhere. So this, drag this window will appear. So just, you can see the icon like this one. If I remove, like uncheck move, right? This, if I'm going to, you just see the right side, everything is here like this one. It's not disabled. When I'm going to uncheck move. So you see, all these are disappear, nothing. If you want to see when I used to, I just started P6 and I got a job and I want to up and down. I was very upset. I couldn't find out these tasks. Like how could I go up and down? I forgot my job. So just drag down, like just, 
like things. And then just again, you can see that the right side, you cannot see that everything, all these icons are disappear. You just check mark, all these appear, right? So this is very basic knowledge, but it's a trick. Like if you are very familiar for this option, so you can play around and around. So just up and down, like you just create, like you. this is a section, like it's a injuring. So at 1.1, this is a, this code, it, it appears automatically from uh, P6. You don't need to do anything. 1.2, 1. 1. like you, I can see that this is 1.1, 1. 1, 1. 1.2 is not correct. So it should be, you need to do, like it should be going down like this, rearranging. We need what's my job, what's our job to rearrange the numbers. Like Primavera P6 created automatically these things, but we need to do, rearrange the our tasks we we need to go one two three four then one two three four is fine if you see a irregular number like for example four is at the top here so we need to oh pipes work it will uh come after this electric equipment so then i need to go down like i need to just click here so like we need to fix these things so one two three four right so this is the very helpful command. Uh, right side, you just see the icons, what you want. And the left side, this is the window. So this is the WBS window. Please make sure difference between, what's the difference between activities and WBS. So this is activities window. And this is WBS window, right? So if you click here, activities, you will hear. Or so see, uh, did you see like this is Faisalabad and we can double click here, like we can drag and this, I created this layout. I will uh, give you the more uh, detail in about the layout, how to create a layout. So for the time being, I created layout classic schedule layout. This is my layout. I like this layout. You can create by your own uh, yourself. So what I need activity ID, first things, activity name, Original duration, remaining duration, schedule, person complete, start date, finish date, and flow. Total flow is there, right? So, for example, I want to add these things in this activity. How can we add? Left side, we cannot add anything. Just only the, uh, this is a symbols of the projects, right? And about my actions, just click here. Red button, you can add here. So, you can see that. Automatically, it will appear one, two. Uh, in the sequence 1, 2, 9, 0, 10, 20, 30, and then you can see that automatically they change the number and you can add here or you can just right click, uh, just right click here, uh, this one, the add, two options. You can use this way or that way you can add this one, right? So I'm, if you want to delete, you just delete this one, okay? And one more thing I want to share with you. Uh, again, I'm going to WBS work breakdown structure. So there is a group and sort. So you now you realize what's the difference between here's the WBS, the levels. And here, if I go to activity window, these are the levels. You can the blue color, green, light green color, yellow color. These are the WBS levels, right? One level, level one, level two, and they are the divided. And these are the activities. The You can see these are the, uh, these are the activities, right? So what you want now, again, I'm going to play because I love P6. So you just click here, group and sort, okay? And then you just click here as the square. And then you can see that the, show group tables right if i i want to see that like uh, display options show uh, show group tables and show grand tables so i you uh, i want to see sharing vertical grouping bands right when i click here this is a standard please follow this instructions my uh, powerpoint slides like show uh, group tables check mark uncheck mark uncheck mark and check mark sharing vertical grouping and group by WBS level. This is a phone color. You can change the, if you want, you can change different phone color here. You can select 
different colors, green, whatever. And if you want to change the phone color, you can um, click here, different the phone color, right? Different bold, italic, what you do in the word uh, file. So use the same thing, just the uh, italic form, what you want, you can just do it, okay? And for example, I'm just uh, showing you like, I'm going to uncheck mark, what's the difference? Sharing vertical grouping blanks, right? Bands, so I just uncheck, see what it will happen, apply then okay so see left side bars it appeared thick like blue green and then then i go to group and sort the icon is you can see that the square the sweet box like the sweet box so you can just group and sort by and then you just and again when i just click double click here you can see that apply should apply and then yeah right or if you want to see hide if you just play around hide if empty just you see that like see all wbs show you but i want to see the proper like wbs under the activities right so i just go there and again i'm hide if empty right and if you want to add something else here uh, like you need to, you see this is intent. If you just uncheck mark, when you uncheck, then you can add. When it's check, you cannot add. See, it's uh, it's all disabled. So you just add, uncheck, and then add whatever you want to see. Like you want to see actual type or the name of the person. Like if I see P. So person type or project. I want to see the name of project manager. Who is the manager? Okay, so I just click and apply and then project manager. No name because I did not assign the like you can see that for who is the project planner for this project, project manager, lead, uh, lead planner. So we can add, we can add this name when you do quality check. So we can add all these names in the WBS, like what what like WBS means here, this area group by which phase you want. Like uh, for my industry, I just used to project PM name, project planner name, lead name. When I do quality checks, so who is the owner of this project? So I just do like this way. So you can now again, I just uncheck. When you do indent check marks, so all these are the uh, levels it will appear like it's disappear everything will be so yeah this one these things you can do that yeah so um, okay and at the top i explain you what's the these things uh file edit view project we can we just learn if i just recall my all p6 version like i just need to when I need to create my project, I just go to uh, went to the new and then add it. Use always in edit. We used to user preference and then view. We need to go expand and collapse and project. We need to go in project window. So just uh, activities or WBS today lecture. Rest of the remaining I will explain in my next session. And enterprise, we are here, enterprise tracking, uh, and then activity code, our topic. So it's already activity code is very uh, important topic. So like this, we can see that the, what is first activity code. So activity course, this is uh, present broad categorized for information such as design, quality, control, uh, information, and control so specify the maximum number of characters for the activity course values so these are the uh, activity course so i can use that this one uh, we can first we can add like we can add anything else what we want like the uh, here we can see that the responsibility or we can add anything responsibility here and then modify we can modify responsibility or department we can again add options 
this code like department and then add which floors so what we want we can just add like floor so we can add these things so activity code is important uh, why what's the benefit of activity course the benefit of uh, activity course is we can use we have three options global eps and project right so in global all projects to see everybody can assign an eps we can use by our own eps node our, our own portfolio and project wise we just specific project code we need to do so we usually usually for an uh, industries level we used to uh, global global uh, this tax right so industries level we use global the benefit of activity code we can tag easily who will be the design engineer right we can make the layout as per stakeholder requirement if we have assigned corrected code so we just like here so we can add this this thing so yeah so okay now going back to my slides um, So today, uh, all things I have explained uh, my criteria like, and today's very important thing, uh, always ensure that this arrow is pointing downwards. Otherwise, the sequence of the activities will be changes. Like if I uh, go to new share, okay. Like this is activity. You can see that just slight click here right you can see that the arrow uh, in this shape the arrow is showing the correct direction right everything the activities it in the the in the sequence if you do like this so the setting will be out like if you do like this setting the setting will be out so just try to do it like this so everything will be in in the sequence so going to slice Yeah, so always ensure that this arrow is pointing downwards. Otherwise, the sequence of the activities will be changed. Okay, so yeah, so now is conclusion. I have covered like six uh, parts, uh, my uh, activity code, WBS, and um, if I go up, my Yeah, so here's my topic I have covered. How to create a project. I covered defined project calendars, how we can create the calendars. Please follow my slides and do practice and how to create EPS, uh, enterprise project structure, how to define, define activity course, how to create and define work breakdown structure. So today I, I covered everything and uh, and this is the like uh, conclusion in the end. I would like to say like uh, this is the end of today's topic. And uh, the purpose of this exercise is to get you familiar with how the Primavera P6 works and what are the features of this software. Either you are working with client side, consult consultant side or contractor, you are able to create a project, program, comments or submitted program for correction or medication. So this is, I hope you found the session useful and resourceful. This is a trial and error. The more you practice, the more you will learn it. So please let me know if you have any queries. Um, I'm going to hand over to Javed Bhai. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Sharia. It's a really fantastic presentation and training. And I think uh, a lot of appreciation we are looking on the chat box. And very luckily, there are no, mu no much questions, you know. But uh, uh, we understand that there will be some questions in future and uh, when the people will be doing practice. So uh, first of first thing which I want to just uh, before conclusion that I want to apologize for this small uh, 
uh, gap of uh, some slides were not sh shared, but I think we covered it. And now we are okay with that. And uh, uh, our next session is on 24th February, same time. Uh, for these uh, questions, uh, we will be um, creating a WhatsApp group where these questions can be put or any, uh, that group will be just to share each other's uh, opinion and any question. And uh, Shaji Saiba will help uh, if there are uh, some questions which she need to address. Uh, we will also share this recording as soon as I receive with all the participants, all the registered participants. So who are not even present in this um, um, training, they will also get it because maybe they will be able to join the second session. So they should have the, they, they will be able to go through those, that what we did today and they can be ready for the next. This is our plan. So we try to keep this clean without any disturbance. And I really thank for cooperation of all the participants. Um, and everything went good. Thank you very much. Jazakallah. And uh, I want to add some more thing. Uh, thank you so much for my all dear friends. Uh, yes, Tariq Bhai, uh, I will share uh, the link of the Tariq Mirza Aksmi. Uh, I will share um, this project link and Thank you so much, everyone. And yes, Asma, uh, thanks. Uh, we will share uh, Javel now. Uh, please uh, share my uh, presentation slides with all of my NEDEC members. That's why I just, I work hard and I have tried my level best. I'm not very expert, but just do it and try and learn. And just the best part is just the play uh, P6. Before I was very scared of the P6, but when I hit and trial, hit and trial, sometime you just, you can in strange window, window you will, it will appear. So don't worry, I'm here. I'm always here for your support and just hit and trial and error. And when you do more practice, you will learn more. So, and if you stuck somewhere, just the best uh, from where I, I learned P6, I just, I, go to the YouTube videos, just select a topic. Like I just, I don't uh, uh, pressurize, don't uh, share the lot of topics one by one, six. So six you can digest because per day if you digest one or two topics, so six after six days, you you are you will be good. So just type in YouTube videos, uh, videos like the best uh, uh, I used to see Plan Academy. And uh, another two, three things I will share with you what's the best uh, they are uh, explaining. So just watch videos and then try in P6 and and just open my, the PowerPoint slide, the steps that follow my, uh, the follow the steps. Thank you so much. Thanks for all your, for your patience. Thanks. Thank you, Shazia. Great job, really. So we are now concluding. I have this tried session. my level best. I have tried my level best. Yeah. No, you really did a really good job. Because you are much more good expert of this. We can understand it and we appreciate. Because in our industries, especially in Bruce Power, uh, like well, everywhere, they are just very in demand, P6. So I think we need to learn P6 as much as possible. If you are interested, if you have interest, then you can 100% you will learn. Thank you so much. And I want to say, Javed Ulam uh, Malik Bhai, thank you so much for your support also. I know you continuously, you just installed the P6 Primavera. So our president already installed the P6. So you have P6, you can practice, do practice. It's a long weekend, family day. So just whenever you have time, you just do practice and just call me. You have my number. You can contact me anytime after 5 p.m. I'm always here. I will be more happy for your help. Thank you so much, my good friends. Thank you. Yeah, there is a comment that we will share. Yeah, definitely we will share WhatsApp link. And we will share this uh, slide and uh, this uh, recording also with all participants. So thanks a lot again for uh, Shazia Sahib and all the participants. Jazakallah. We're closing the meeting now. Any comment? So I think they're all good. Okay, thank you. We are closing the meeting now. Thank you.